A couple of years ago I read an article on different types of woodwork vices and in the article it showed the different types of quick release and this one here left me quite intrigued on how it could work. I'd never seen a vice like this before but by digging a little bit deeper I pretty well figured out how it works and it's pretty cool. So I'll show you now how I made it and at the end of the video I'll show you exactly how it works and then I'm going to take the mechanism itself and I'm going to make a vice out of it and that will be my next video. So this video is like a part one and the next video will be part two. I need this piece of half pipe to fit snugly around this threaded rod and I didn't have a piece of pipe that was exactly the right size so I've taken an off cut of the, uh, the threaded rod there and I'm going to flatten it out and that should do the job. Now I need to make a hinge between the half pipe and the half nut and to do that I'm going to weld these small pieces on here either side of the nut and the nut will actually need a little piece of steel welded to it too and then a pin will go through the whole thing. I will need to remove a little bit of material on the pipe but I can do that afterwards so it should all make sense as it comes together and so I'm going to put the the nut in place there to space these the right distance apart and to keep them square and I'm going to just use this uh, clip here just to give it a bit of room for the uh, the hinge to to work so it's not too tight so now the tricky part is getting this lined up Now I need to take a little bit out of this sleeve here so the nut can sit in there. These two pieces need to hinge and they fit together now so they can do that. So I've got to drill a hole through the two pieces and put a pin in. I'm going to use this nail to do that but I have one other little job first and that is if I put a pin through there now the uh, the half nut it won't come away freely and that's because uh, this corner of the uh, the threads here is in the way so I just need to round that corner off and then it will give it some clearance to to lift out to keep them lined up while I drill a hole through both pieces I'm going to clamp it around uh, a scrap piece of the uh, threaded rod there I'm actually starting to think this may work if the mechanism is looking quite promising so when I twist that round the threaded rod you can see gravity moves the half nut out the way and that means the whole thing can travel along the threaded rod and then when you twist it back it engages uh, into the threads there. So the next thing I need to do is I need to take off the corners of the outside of this hinge and the reason I need to do that is we'll have a bar that runs parallel uh, with the threaded rod along here and when this mechanism twists around we're not just relying on gravity for that half nut to move out the way because it could get stuck in the threads and if it did that then the whole thing wouldn't work but with the uh, this bar that we have running along here it will engage this tab that's welded to the half nut and it will flick the half nut out the way and there's no way it can be in the threads there Now I need to take a piece of steel and weld it to the back of the half nut here and that's going to be shaped into a wedge and the reason for that is when we uh, eventually attach our bar that flips the half nut out of the way that same bar will be used by the wedge 
and it will wedge between the threaded rod and this bar and it will push the half nut into the threads. For this mechanism to work it relies on friction so when you turn the threaded rod it takes the sleeve with it and then drags the um, half nut at the back and that engages onto the threads. On the original vices they had a weight on the uh, sleeve here and that helped balance it and uh, pull the, um, the sleeve down onto the threaded rod so that's where the friction came from and it was enough to pull it round. But what I've done, I've done it a little bit different. I've drilled a hole in the sleeve and I've put a rare earth magnet in there and that really holds it very well. I've never played with the original vice, I've never seen one, but I'd imagine this is an improvement. The rare earth magnet works very well and it, it, it grips that and pulls it round, but you can still turn the, the nut when it's engaged and it slides up and down the threaded rod, no worries at all. So uh, I'm going to glue that in, but I haven't done that yet. So the threaded rod needs to go through the holes in the housing fairly freely and the threaded rod was 24mm and the nearest hole saw I had was 25mm and the next size up was 32 which would be too big and even though this goes through I'm going to just file it out a little bit more. I'm going to glue the bar into the housing rather than weld it in and that's in case if the bar ever bends, I don't think it will, but if it does I'll be able to heat this up and knock it back out. For demonstration purposes I've screwed the housing to a block of wood so I can put it in my vise and I've also drilled a uh, 24mm hole there to guide the uh, threaded rod just for this demonstration and that keeps it uh, centered in the housing. The, the, I haven't put one on the back so it's a little bit sloppy but it's good enough just to show uh, how this works. When I make a vise uh, it won't rely on a bushing it will be um, a couple of guide rails uh, either side pipes uh, like this and they'll be on a carriage and that's what will keep the, uh, the threaded rod centered but for now this is good enough just to show how it works. So the, uh, the hinged part here uh, I've just put a loose pin in there and the pin can't so it come out once it's in there there's no way for it to go that's uh, got a little bit of play in it but not too much but it needs to be loose we don't want it to uh, uh, get uh, caught up or so it's got to be pretty free mm -hmm. so to put it together oh and um, before I uh, do put it together I've um, welded a piece of steel on this one side of the half nut there and the reason for that is when this uh, is in place it's hard to do with the magnet there it's pulling it. The whole thing, when the threaded rod's in, pulls up against this face here of the um, of the housing, this inside face. So without that, it was relying all the uh, force was going on this one side of the hinge here, and it seemed perfectly fine. But just to um, eliminate any chance of it twisting, I've put that on this side as well. So now it's pushing against there and against there into this uh, face here. So let's put it together to do that. You've got to be just uh, um, in the right place with the half nut out of the way and the sleeve just in the right place. So there we go. So, so in that position the threaded rod is free to move backwards and forwards 
and as soon as I turn it, it takes his sleeve with the magnet uh, around and in doing so, it brings the nut around and the nut engages into the threads and the wedge at the back of the nut uh, wedges against the bar here and it takes about half a turn and the whole thing tightens up. So then the whole thing tightens against the back of this face here and that's why I welded that little piece onto the back of the nut there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I think that makes sense. So to undo it, you just undo it. The whole thing comes back round and this tab here hits the back of the bar pulls the half nut out of the way and then we're free to move it again so just to do it a bit quicker and there we go that's tight undo it hits there and we're free hopefully you thought that mechanism was as cool as what I did and uh, that the project was worth making because I'll get a couple of comments that'll say yeah why do you bother making things like this when you could go out and buy one and I uh, definitely could do that but I enjoy doing this, I like the challenge, I like tinkering and making things work and uh, also everything I used on this project, absolutely everything I already had here and that's a challenge I like to using the things around me and making them work uh, so I really enjoyed this one so hopefully you enjoyed the video too. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe and look out for the next video which will be advice using this mechanism as long as it goes to the plan, but it should do I think. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.